Hello my fellow chef knives enthusiasts. In this video I am showing you my Sakai Kikutora miniature set of knives. Sakai Kikutora is based in Sakai city, located south of Osaka. For centuries, Sakai was known for its samurai swords. Generations of sword makers passed down their knowledge and today it is said that the city forges and hones the best handmade kitchen knives on earth. As far as I know, Sakai city also houses the only knife museum in the world. Sakai Kikutora Honpo Murata Hamono was founded in 1915. So they have over 100 years of experience crafting hand-forged Japanese knives. To this day, they continue to produce quality knives in the traditional style and techniques. I had never heard of Sakai Kikutora before I bumped into this set of miniature knives. All I know is when I saw the pictures of this set of miniature knives on the Facebook page of Sakai Knives, they immediately spoke to me. I mean, come on, these are just cute as Akio Hasegawa, the owner of Sakai Knives, where I purchased these miniature knives, told me that there is an old retired knife maker at Sakai Kikutora that makes these limited edition miniature Japanese knives in a true-to-life fashion. I'm not sure if this is a clever marketing story or not, but that story sounds so cool to me. I can imagine an old Japanese man finding himself with too much time on his hands after being retired as a bladesmith. Instead of Netflix and chill, traveling the world or spending all his money on hookers and cocaine, this man makes these miniature knives. How cool is that? I'm so glad that Akio from Sakai Knives made these incredible miniature knives available for a chef knife enthusiast like me. I can imagine he was just happy to have them as a novelty for his customers. They look just so great on my wall. This set includes a Deba, a Yanagiba, a Kamagata Usuba and a Sobakiri. Obviously, I had to buy a loose miniature nakiri next to that beautiful framed set of four. Since I own a Unreal Mega Long Nakiri, which might be one of the, if not the largest nakiri in the world, I thought I might as well get myself the smallest nakiri in the world too. I love this little kitty box as well. It's also really cute. It does actually really look like a real makiri. This is actually my first knife with a yo handle and a bolster. I'm a wa handle guy and I love my knives to be front heavy, blade heavy, but yeah I, I couldn't pass on this really cute little guy. Isn't this just a wonderful sight? Cutie and the beast. I kind of like the thought of having the smallest and largest nakiri in the world living together in harmony in my very own house. How many people do you know that have these two knives? That's what I thought. The Sakai Knives website states that these blades are razor sharp as with any Japanese knife. So let's see if this claim is true. I'm not going to touch these four. I'll let those sit in this really nice frame. For now, I'll just going to use this Nakeri. I'll give the out of the box sharpness a solid seven. It did cut paper, but a little meh. So I rolled out my 3K Naniwa Chosua round stone to put a nice micro bevel in this little bad boy. If I didn't purchase these huge Naniwa Chosua round stones for sharpening miniature knives, then where is this world going to? The Chosura cuts pretty fast on the stainless steel. Look at all the slurry right there from the get-go. I already feel a nice and steady burr on this side. By the way, when you have problems feeling a burr with your fingers or whatnot, I know some of you do, I might have a nice piece of advice for you. Spread your hands. Now squeeze your thumb and index finger together in such a way that this little bump forms right here. That piece of skin is the softest and most sensitive part of the skin on your hands. 
way softer than your fingertips. So I find it the best way of detecting a burr on your edge. Just scrape the part of the edge that should have folded over gently over that piece of skin and you'll feel even the lightest burr. Try it out next time when you're sharpening your knife. So after I put a pretty decent edge on it on my 3K stone, I took it to my Snow White. I didn't repeat the whole sharpening process, I just dropped it on both sides counting down from 10 strokes per side of the blade. Then a few strops on my Jende Kangaroo leather strop and that should be that. My cat is always the first to inspect my sharpening job. If it doesn't smell right, it's right back to the stones for me. Well, it looks like it has a nice edge on it. Now it actually cuts paper like I wanted to. I can actually shave some hairs off my arms with this little square tip badass. Now let's see what this little blade can do on the cutting board. The size of the handle is a little bit on the tiny side, but the blade is nicely front heavy. There's not a lot of knuckle clearance on this one, but when I adapted to this whole miniature situation I've got going on here, I find myself cutting stuff pretty effortlessly. Garlic, check. Was no problem, it definitely cuts. Chili pepper. Check. I'm surprised how easy peasy these little knackery handles the skin of the pepper. Nice and toothy but smooth gliding. Okay, right. There's no way I'm going to get clean cuts with this shallot. Yeah, well, that's like totally cut and everything, but the shallot was like a watermelon to this small nakiri. Speaking of which... Cutting a watermelon with this Sakai Kikutora miniature nakiri is quite the challenge. For watermelon, I must summon my Unryu Mega Long Nakari. But at the end of the day, I must say that the performance of this miniature Nakari is surprisingly good. I'm not sure if it's going to make it into the rotation, but I think it is just pretty cool and fun to have one of these in my collection. Alongside with these four beautiful miniature traditional Japanese knives. Thank you for watching this video. If you look at my channel, you can find a lot more knife videos. You can watch them or not. 
Those are the two options for you. If you do watch them, I hope that you will laugh a number of times. That might be one time or it might be any number of times in between one and an infinite times. It is also entirely possible that you won't laugh at all. So many things are possible. The only thing that is certain is that nothing is certain. But I think you will certainly like watching my knife videos. Unless you don't like watching them. Then I'm pretty, 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 pretty certain that you won't. Anyway, if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel, watch my knife videos and let me know what you think in the comments.